What's up everybody? In this episode, we're going to talk about how to get started, how to do it with very little cash, the importance of consistency, and that the market is many things, but the one thing that it's not is easy. My name is Michael Lamott. I am the founder of ChartYourTrade.com. Our goal is to inspire millions of hardworking people just like you to take advantage of the stock market. And one of the ways that we're doing it is with videos like this. Enjoy. What's up everybody, happy Monday. Really great weekend this weekend. Spent some time relaxing, birthday weekend. Uh, my wife Melissa took me out, uh, great time. I spent some time out east uh, at the wineries. A lot of great stuff. Uh, came back and yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff going on with Chart Your Trade too. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually our fifth anniversary. Can't believe that been doing this for five years, come a really long way. Uh, truly appreciate you guys that have been there for the duration. Appreciate all you new guys as well, uh, guys and gals. Really appreciate uh, just everybody. So, over the weekend too, I wanted to tell you the this short story. So, a buddy of mine uh, reached out to me, wished me a happy birthday, but he was also telling me about how he is starting to get involved in the markets as well and starting out super super small um, opened up an account uh, funded it with 50 bucks and has started watching the videos and trying to see uh, what I do and how I do it and that's really how you get started you don't need a lot especially right now especially with apps like Robinhood and brokers like Robinhood that let you open an account for free, uh, fund it with whatever amount you want, and then let you trade for free. It's as easy as ever to start getting involved, and it's much better to do it with a really small amount of money because we're all going to lose when we first start out. Even well, when you gain experience, you're still going to have losing trades. I have losing trades all the time. It's about learning how to manage your trades and you're just going to make a lot more mistakes when you're first starting out. I did, and it's better for those mistakes to be cheaper when you're first starting out. So definitely, just just get started. You know, technology has made things, uh, the current environment, uh, there's no excuse not to get started. Just get started, start learning. There's a ton of free stuff out there. I want all you guys out there to take advantage of the market. And that's it for Monday. Take care. This is a real important message for our younger audience and for anyone that is just looking to get started in the stock market. Number one thing that you've got to do is simply get started, start saving, start putting money away, and you need to do it consistently. You need to do it every single week, every single paycheck, and I don't care if it's five dollars a paycheck. I don't care if, it, if it's ten dollars a paycheck. The most important thing that you need to do is build that habit of consistently basically taxing yourself and just taking that little bit and putting it away and and not touching it and saving it for what you're going to invest in the market. Then what you need to do is open up an account with some broker. There's a lot of great discount brokers out there. You could trade for free. You could open up an account with very little money. Uh, Robinhood is my personal favorite for this. You could open up an account with literally with five bucks and you can start trading stocks for free. So after you do that, I would say the next most important thing that you need to do is start studying and start learning what kinds of methods there are out there and what kinds are going to work for you. There, there's a million different ways to trade the market and there's a lot of noise out there in social media and everything. So I would, I would try to taste a lot of different ways and just see which one resonates uh, the most well with me. When you, when you find it, you'll know it. And lastly, and this is especially for the younger audience, just realize this. You've got a lot of time to make this work. Like if you're 17, I'm 38. You have double your lifespan and you're not catching up to me yet. So definitely have time on your side. Don't rush 
patience and just remember those things and, and really get started. That's it. Take care. Have a great Tuesday. Wednesday. Tuesday. What's up everybody? Happy Wednesday. Tuesday? Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Just wanted to give you a quick insight into a conversation that I had yesterday well, with a buddy of mine. One of the most important things that you can do, especially like if you have a little bit of experience and you're, you're trading the markets, have separate accounts for each kind of strategy that you're going to run. If we had like one big master account, then this is what I used to have and it would get me into a lot of trouble, especially when I started to learn and, and want to try different things. When you have one master account that's going to be the catch-all for every kind of trade that you're going to have, it's very easy to start confusing trades and start applying different strategies and different time frames to each of the different trades and it's you might you might have a good grasp of what it is that you want to try to do but then when you're trying to do too many things in one particular account then it's just a, a recipe for disaster so a good way to to not have that problem is to have multiple accounts so i have I actually have three accounts. I have a short-term swing trading account, I have an intermediate-term account, and I have a longer-term retirement account. And with each of those, I'm able to really separate the different types of strategies that I'm going to use, and it's something that, that's helped me out quite a bit. So if you're having those kind of problems, definitely want to consider having multiple smaller accounts and just running one strategy and focusing on that one strategy in each of those accounts. What's up everybody? I just wanted to share a conversation that I had yesterday with a longtime friend of mine. It was about stock trading and investing and had just how do you get started. And so she, she was asking me basically for the like the five key things that that you need to get started or uh, to just simplify it into uh, you know something that you could take away uh, and just start doing immediately and uh, what I came to realize uh, and what I was telling and and trying to explain to her too is that it, it the market is it it is complicated and I know that I try to break things down uh, as simply as I can and, and share them well with everyone here but the market is complicated and if it were super easy, if it was something that you could just do it and learn in five minutes, then oh, we would all own an island somewhere. And so I think that it's a little bit more complicated th than that. And I think that I think that it has a lot to do with all of us just having the, the right perspective on the market. That it is something that, that we can do. That, that's something that I obviously believe in, and I've had success myself doing it part-time with a family, full-time job, and but it hasn't been something that's been overnight. It's been something that's been many years uh, of studying and getting my ass kicked by the market. And so part of what I'm trying to do with all the social media, with the YouTube videos, with the newsletter and everything is trying to make that learning curve a lot shorter for everybody. And I hope that part of what I'm able to convey too is that, yeah, it, it is complicated, but it's something that's doable and it's something that we can all take advantage of. And if just some regular guy like me is able to make it work, then I think that there's hope for everyone out there. And I think that you could do it too. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you like the video, click the little thumbs up button. That really helps us a lot. Also, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought. Let, you, let me know what you thought of the, the new intro, mixing it up a little bit. And also, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that way you make sure that you get all of our updates. Thanks again for watching. I truly appreciate it. And have a wonderful day. Take care. See you in the next video.